Danielle and the Magic Canvas by Daniela. Danielle was went running to Marcelo's room when she wanted to tell Marcelo that Pato had thrown away her doll. So Danielle needed some company after what her older brother Pato had done to make Danielle feel bad. When Danielle entered Marcelo's room, Marcelo was acting really mean and bossy. That Danielle felt like she wasn't important in the world. So Danielle had no company, just some and mean thoughts about how Marcelo had kicked her out of her be- of his bedroom. Danielle was a ten year old girl. She hated her life. She's always fighting with her brothers and with her mom and dad. She wanted to live with her with a family that did not complain and bother her. Danielle wanted zero help from her brothers, mom or dad. Danielle, what's wrong with you, little creep? You know you can't come into my room. I'm telling mom. Marcelo, her older brother, said, I don't know why my mom and dad and brothers are always against me. They are always bothering me and I hate my family. I'll, and I always will, Danielle said. I had always have dreamed of having a happy family who doesn't fight with her brothers or sisters, mom and dad. I don't stand living in this house. That's it. I've had enough. Students, tomorrow we're going to an art gallery. So here are your permission slips for your parents, the art teacher said. You have to have them signed by tomorrow. Bye, kids. Mom, tomorrow I'm going to an art gallery. Would you sign my permission slip, please? Danielle said, begging. Okay, honey, but I have to go to my hair salon appointment. Tell me later. Bye. Ugh, I hate my mom. Okay, honey, but I have to go to my hair salon appointment. Tell me later. As Danielle thought and mimicked her mother. Danielle was really excited for the gallery, so when she had to go to bed, she thought about incredible things she's going to see tomorrow at the gallery. Danielle was sure her mother would sign it, so Danielle went, waited until the last minute and then asked her mother again, Danielle, why did, why did you have to ask me until this time and not before? Danielle mother said furious. Well, because you were too busy, Danielle said sarcastically. You're such a mess. Ugh, Danielle mother said stressed and slowly. The next day at the museum, Danielle and her classmates were observing the art paintings and stuff. When a friend of Danielle touched a painting, hey, don't touch stuff, the art teacher said. Isn't Miss Bobby really mean, Danielle's friend said. Danielle was casually thinking of what her mom and dad had said. But when Danielle turned around and saw a canvas moving and acting really strange. That, that is strange, and I should not touch anything. But Miss Bobby is not looking. So, and Danielle went out and stretched her hand. As soon as her fingertips touched the canvas, she fell into the painting. And she was falling in a tunnel full of lights and stars. Ah! Ah! Where am I? What's happening? Danielle said, and feeling dizzy. Danielle stood up and started and started walking towards the house that she saw far, far away. Danielle got closer to the door and said, Should I knock on this door? This place is beautiful. I could stay here and live, but finally I'm away from my family. I'm free. Daniel knocked on the door, and a strange witch came and said, Who are you, little girl? Hello, I'm Daniel. I was pulled into this painting. I don't know why, but this is a beautiful place. Can I stay here? Okay, okay. Have you heard the story about Hansel and Gretel? Well, I'm that witch. So if you don't get out of this painting, you creepy girl, I'm going to cook you for dinner, the witch replied. Danielle went running, hoping the witch would not do anything to her. She had regretted to fight with her family and her brothers. Danielle was running to that painting, and she jumped so she could fall or transport to the museum. Danielle jumped, but it didn't work. No, 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 no. She's going to trap me. 
I wish I could be with my family, Daniel thought. The evil witch was coming close to her. Closer, closer, and closer. Daniel was feeling scared, and her knees began to wobble. Daniel had to jump again, so she, so she jumped high, high, high. And she transported to the museum with her classmates and teacher. Daniel was so happy, and she felt safe. But she was really regretted and scared. As soon as Danielle got to her house, she said to her mom that she was so sorry. And her mom said, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry too. I did not pay much attention to you and your brothers. I'm so sorry, honey. I promise that I will pay more attention to you, said Danielle's mom kindly. And so Danielle and her family lived happily ever after. The end.